Hello, my name is Keith Hallenbeck, Technical Sales and Applications Manager at Amatech Dynamic Fluid Solutions. In this video, I will discuss the proper ventilation and thermal management of our Windjammer and Nautil Air bypass and through flow blowers when packaging into end customer equipment. A bypass blower design is easily identified by the steel motor enclosure, which has various slotted cooling patterns and the motor connection is located on this metal enclosure. A through flow blower design does not have a steel motor enclosure and the power connection is made through the die cast aluminum blower housing. In a through flow design, the working air and motor electronics cooling air are one and the same, being intermixed within the blower. This provides for a smaller overall blower package. However, the blower may be limited in performance and capability by the working air temperature and cleanliness of the air. A bypass design isolates the working air from the cooling air. The separation of the working air versus cooling air in a bypass configuration is critical to the thermal management of the motor and electronics drive of the blower assembly and has the benefits of one, the working air is not heated by the motor and electronics internally generated heat. Two, the working ambient air therefore can operate at higher temperature as the motor and electronics is cooled from an isolated source. And three, there's no cross-contamination between the working air and cooling air compartments. Note that the definition of bypass is characterized by the functional separation of the working air from the cooling air that provides convection cooling of the motor and electronics. A bypass design has two basic air movement sections to the blower. One, the working air, meaning the functional purpose of the blower, and two, the motor and electronics compartment that requires clean, breathing quality air circulation for proper thermal management of the blower. When designing the blower into an end application equipment, it is critical not to recirculate the working air and cooling air that could result in overheating of the motor and electronics compartment. Ideally, each section would have its own dedicated inlet and outlet associated with the working air and the cooling air. For example, installing a blower into a sound reduction box with a single working air inlet and outlet may cause overheating as the cooling air can only recirculate inside the enclosure, ever increasing the thermal environment. In this case, the enclosure should have two separate compartments, a working air inlet and outlet and a cooling air inlet and outlet. Another example is mounting the blower without an enclosure in an end-use application. Tubing or hoses attached to the working air inlet and outlet allow the cooling air section to freely breathe the surrounding ambient air up to 50 degrees C. If you have any questions concerning the proper installation of our blowers, please contact us at 303-458-1000.